my view today, tonight, much better than, much better than last night. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Camp back there. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I can't remember if I just said this. Gonna make some tea, gonna go to sleep. And then I'm going to probably wake up and come sit by the fire because it's a really nice fire. Well, I got the tea water on and I'm going to have a hot tea before bed. <sighs> I'm so relaxed feeling right now. It's been a good day. night and I'm ready for bed. I had a nice hot tea and uh, yeah, it's it was a, a bit of a day today, challenging in the morning because of the coffee situation, but it sure improved after that. Um, after I got firewood um, and had supper, it was such a great evening. Um, yeah, I couldn't ask for anything more. Nice calm, no mosquitoes. Um, the odd one, lots of dragonflies, and yeah, so it should be good tomorrow. Hopefully the weather holds out for me, and I don't care how hot it is, it's just, I'm going to be able to swim, so anyways, sweet dreams, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's almost nine o'clock. Um, I had a great sleep last night, um... I was awoken by a motorboat coming by around 7.30. Um, so, I don't know. I don't necessarily like being on a lake that's got motorboat access, but um, one motorboat in two days, that's been great. So, I'm thinking, I'm almost uh, thinking I might stay here one more day. So, um yeah, it'll be just a cooking video, maybe. And the most important ingredient, Carolina. Whoa! Oh, well, water's boiling. And today, I found my elbow glove. to make my Java Jive.
360 uh, degree view. It's just incredible here. After having uh, some coffee, I can make a decision on whether I'm going to stay or go. Um, my decision is going to stay for one more day. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that'll be cool. Stay for one more day. Hi, baby girl. So, um, yeah, main goal of this trip is to relax. Um, to, and to be in the wilderness um, without other people around. Um, not to say that I don't want other people around. I have some great friends that I'd love to haul out on camping trips. But the time is so limited. And, uh, oh, what else? I really need this self-time. I really need it. Today, I'm going to probably hang around camp. I'm going to do some cross-stitching, um, swimming, fishing, and yeah, hopefully I won't be making this uh, video too boring. I have a lot of um, video footage uh, from many of my past camping trips. I used to um, do some pretty extensive trips and uh, I always videoed them. Um, YouTube didn't exist back then. <laughs> So, um, thanks to a very, very sweet person, uh, she has encouraged me to make some videos of what I do out here, and uh, hopefully this will be uh, not too boring, and uh, I'm not expecting to be a YouTube sensation or anything like that, but, uh, it, you know, it's just, my kids will be able to see what I'm doing, where I'm going, um, you know, and uh, yeah, my friends, they always wonder about what my camping trips are all about. And so this is it. You sit here and you drink coffee by the water. Gets too hot, you jump in and go for a swim. You cook supper over the fire and I'm about to do some breakfast. It's not going to be a like a very um, complicated breakfast. I'm just going to so some bagels and some cream cheese and smoked salmon and some lemon zest and uh, red, dried red onions <laughs> for the flavor. The only thing I'm missing is capers. Oh, there's plastic in here. More. I'm a cream cheese hog.
is freeze dried red onion. Oh, I missed my spice. And there you have it. Brekkie. Okay, here's breakfast. Oh, it smells delicious. Um, not gonna make you suffer through me eating this or even <laughs> watching me. So I just wanted to say, hey, it's here. <laughs> Garlic's freeze dried. Um, purple onion in there. Yeah, it's freeze dried garlic and freeze dried chai. So they're actually really good. Um, I might have to get myself a freeze dry machine. So when I got sausages ready to go in, I've made my coffee already, and uh, I'm gonna cut some uh, peppers up for this. basically making an egg scramble. Okay, got the peppers added, the potatoes. Yeah, they're probably added too soon. Um, and my little sausage balls, my breakfast balls. Um, yeah, I just took the sausage, took the skin off and made little sausage balls out of this. Um, I like doing that for spaghetti. Oh. I'm looking at this thing. I'm gonna add some cheese into here and some eggs in a little bit. And then I'm going to, yeah, tomatoes, cheese, and eggs. And then I'll have breakfast. And as you can see, there's lots there. So next time come out camping with me. <laughs> well, I'll be feeding the dogs. Yeah, I didn't have supper last night either, so I'll be, I'll be doing that. I'll be eating supper, last night's supper, and today's breakfast, all in one. <laughs> that looks delicious. It smells amazing. Well, if you could smell this, you'd have your butt over here in two seconds. It's really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, so this is um, five eggs, um, yeah, I'm cooking for the dogs, and some lemon zest added into it, just to kind of mock um, hollandaise sauce a little. <laughs> The uh, MSR stove. The only, the only situation with the MSR stove is it's so loud. And that's best. Oh. <laughs> okay, little butterfly, you can come eat. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not eating all this. Um, it's probably, I'll probably end up eating half of it and then, uh, well, I know I'll end, end up eating half of it and I'll feed the dogs with it too because they're not eating their food. I'm glad I'm carrying around a barrel of food. Well, I haven't mean, carried around very much anyway, so, but anyways. Oh my gosh, I've had my fill. <laughs> Breakfast was phenomenal. Um, 
just sitting down with my coffee. And uh, I'm going to let this cool down a little bit. And then I'm going to split it up between the dogs. Because I ain't going to eat this. <laughs> Not all this. As good as it was. I'm not going to eat it. There's a fish jumping around here. Or a turtle. A turtle, you'd see its head above the water every once in a while, though. Okay, I'm gonna get my steak ready. Um, probably not having another potato today. <laughs> so, I'm trying to just get it ready inside the bag here. But, uh, I might have to use outside of the bag for a bit. No! no. Okay, well, my steak spice went for a swim, so <laughs> and then garlic. I like garlic. Yeah, I do. More steak fast. And some more garlic. And then, of course, we need a, a little bit of love in this pack. Okay, so the steak is going to sit here and marinate, and um, yeah, it's my second steak of the trip, which, which is quite unusual, but the steak that I had before, um, uh, it was actually brought out here in the winter time, and I didn't have a great appetite, so I didn't eat it, so <laughs> went back to the freezer when I got home, and then it came back up with me here, but it's gone now, so... Now I have to make this one and marinate this one and uh, we'll see if I can get a decent fire going. I'm going to have to go look for wood now. So. <laughs> but that's okay. I went for a huge swim way, 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 way out there. And right there. And I heard a plane coming. And I thought, okay, plane's coming. Hopefully it'll see me in the water. It won't land anywhere near me. And uh, um, when I am out in the wilderness swimming by myself, I'm not usually in a swimsuit. <laughs> so this plane buzzed over me very closely. And uh, yeah, I was swimming for the life of me to get back here. And then they buzzed by me about an hour ago when I was sitting in cross-stitching. So um, hopefully... Um, they won't bug me again because uh, I'm going to get their, their plane number next time and report them. <laughs> no, I won't do that. <laughs> live and let live, right? <laughs> well, this is partially supper. I'm just going to eat my asparagus first. And yeah, of course, I think the dogs are going to have some too. Um, there is a fishing boat off in the distance. Um, 
after I'm done eating a few sticks of asparagus, I think I am going to throw my steak on. Woohoo! Get the fire going and uh, pump it up a little. Steak's on! That is going to be good. Okay. It's time to flip it. Flip it real good. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, my God. It's a little, a little on the crispy side, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Stop the fire from going and make these coals. But this is still going to be really good with a glass of red wine and some of that, I guess. Still really raw inside. I don't like it raw. Don't want it to be burnt either. Okay, almost, I'll give it 10 more minutes. All right, supper is ready. <laughs> and it wouldn't be a complete steak dinner without red wine. So here it is, cheers. Um, yeah. I think my position has been compromised because there's a lot of boaters coming around now so I'm going to have to probably leave tomorrow so if I don't drink too much red wine <laughs> I'll get up early have coffee have a quick brekkie and head out to the next few lakes so I won't make you suffer through watching me eat supper but uh, yeah <laughs> I know it's gonna be good Have one bite of asparagus. Mm. Okay. I have to have a bite of steak now too. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, it's just a little bit rawer than I like, but I like the crispy outside, and it's hot, so 
And the dogs are just going to love this. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Okay. On with my dinner. I'll catch you after I'm done eating. Well, dinner was phenomenal. The dogs enjoyed a few little bits that I left. <laughs> um, the boulders seemed to have left, and then I had kayakers to deal with. Well, I didn't have to deal with them. They just were paddling around. So, um, got a nice relaxing fire going. I had a glass of red wine and I think I should address the fact that I have a glass out here um, I really like my wine in a glass um, I don't put it down on the rock because I don't want it to tip over and break um, I'll put it down on the softer ground part with something surrounding it so it doesn't tip over even then um, I'm actually bringing my wine glass to a special place where that's where it'll be left and it'll be kept there. So, um, and it will be perfectly allowed. Anyways, um, as you notice, my hair is all a little shambles here. I lost my brush. I don't know where it is and I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh yeah, you should see this place should see this place okay just take you on a little tour around this little part of the lake Well, it's the end of day four. I'm still at my first camp. And uh, I spent my entire day relaxing, cross-stitching, fishing, swimming. It's been great. Um, unfortunately, a plane buzzed by me earlier this morning and it came by a second time. And now I have motorboats coming around and this is a boat access lake motorboat access lake and uh can't really complain gotta share the the earth with people right um anyways um yeah there's been People canoeing and kayaking around here, I guess, checking out the squatter. <laughs> and I think it's time for me to move on tomorrow. Um, although I like this spot. Um, people, people found me. So I'm going to head out tomorrow after brekkie made the coffee first and I'm just gonna have a quick breakfast and then pack up and go um 
I'm not really in tripping mode. I'm in camping mode right now. So, um, yeah, it's going to be hard to switch over. 